what's up guys this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria and, and in this episode we are beginning our invasion of the north by attacking Petrovskaya and taking it from the Russians so let's take them out so we're managing to open up our northern front against Russia we've taken uh, St. Petersburg we're taking Petrovskaya so suddenly uh, the Russian Empire has a lot more uh, frontier to cover than it previously did and that will allow our armies in that have currently been valiantly holding the line in Warsaw and Konigsberg to now start to move east. That will be my intention here. So artillery is not going to get a huge amount of use because it's probably going to be line of sight issues. Let's create. Oh, let's have a look at the terrain. This it's a bit undulating, a bit tricky. Okay, maybe for once I'm going to push through the town. Grenadiers and and uh, mercenaries on the left. Set my howitzers up to provide fire support. Group up my cavalry on either flank to provide a bit of support. But fundamentally, we're going to want to well. The thing is now we've got advanced firing drills and so, so on we've actually got it becomes not too terrible then to push through the town because you're not going to get caught out quite so much as you would do uh, if you had like early game troops so we're going to give them quite optimistic targets and expecting to be engaged and we're not quite going to make it there. Although you guys might actually... Sorry, hold on. Let's get, get a bit better mouse control. You guys might run. How it says push... Yeah, cavalry push up on the right. Let's run this cavalry in. And then the how it says... They're engaging with a round shot. No, one of them isn't. One of them is going to annihilate that. That cavalry unit. Which is pretty good. Okay, because the other flank is going to run, you are also going to run. I think my Lancer Guard would probably be enough to deal with these fellas. They've been on the gallop for a while now, though, so they're probably going to be a bit tired. They are going to do damage on the charge. Oh, they're going to rout before that even becomes a problem. Oh, oh, it's a fire coming in. Pull back. Ooh. Switch my howitzers to round shot and get them to just engage the enemy line. Just to try and prevent fratricide where possible. So we're pushing through the town quite aggressively. Keep my cavalry running wide. Maybe run them because you might have to jump on the 54th. 66th here, we're going to be in a good position to open up on to the 105th. Heavy horse artillery engage the 54th. Let's bring the cavalry in. Okay, the grenadiers will charge up the hill. The mercenaries are going to back them up. Howitzers target behind the lines. of carnage. This unit on the right, actually they should, they'll be able to engage imminently against the militia. Bring the cavalry to bear because we're going to make this right flank collapse. So you men want to go in against the foot guards. No, you want to go for that combat, I get it. 
Okay, actually go for that combat then, because we managed to push the foot guards back. Pull my Lancer guards out. Get my cavalry to pursue the routing troops. Yeah, my grand is. I mean, yeah, they're doing. They're holding their own, but actually, it's maybe make my. No, it's not make my cavalry do anything. Come back. Some good artillery support. Okay, you men are going to push up to this gap. Kill the enemy general. Cavalry is counter charging us. So pivot and engage yourself. Here comes more enemy cavalry. My Lancer guards are upset. Grenadiers form square. They're a bit on their own. Let's maybe bring you two units across. You men drop into square. Okay, you men push up like so. Yeah, it's a matter of time before someone broke. Get my cavalry free. So you men drop into square because they're going to run roughly through your position so if they pursue my routing troops they will themselves get engaged for Bjorn Strelzi push the my cavalry up aware of the stakes their regiment of horse is shattered you men are make ready and fire it's another unit broken Attack the Cossack infantry and buy time, although you're going to get hit by cavalry. You men run straight ahead to try to get away from that garrison line. You men go for the guns, cavalry keep running through. New men charge the 12 foot guards. My regiment of horse is going to be intercepted. Oh, you guys. You guys need to get out of square and charge the Cossacks because otherwise they're going to pour some They're going to pour some fire into you, my friends. This regiment of line infantry counter charge the cavalry. It's horse artillery destroyed. Okay, all my cavalry get up over here to smash the 12th foot guards. Pivot and engage. They need men drop into square because they're going to want to fight you. I'm going to end up pushing back all of these fools. Here comes the cavalry to mop up the 12th foot guards. Nice. Messy than I would have planned. Um, I chalk that down to first battle of the session and my hands are actually a bit cold. So responding responses are a bit it was a bit overly mechanical how I'm trying to drive my hand. Like up, left. <laughs> but there we go, the town is ours. Let's repair the governor's residence, let's replenish our troops. Oh, not sure. Mr. Weber, Weber. Viva. Infiltrate Archangels. Could see what we've got going on. You're going to go infiltrate... Well, not maybe not infiltrate Moscow. Go stand nearby. Let's make a few repairs because we've got a bit of cash. Better roads. Upgrade the lumber mill. That's being repaired. Cool. Let's recruit... A unit of line infantry to support the St. Petersburg garrison. 
So yeah, in the if you can see here, actually we've got some space we can do some manoeuvring here. Although we've got quite a significant concentration of enemy troops to be aware of. You would like to push forward and engage that Polish force, but I want to try and see if I can engage any of them in river battles. But let's hit N10. There's some reinforcements up to Damascus. No, nope, they're going to drive straight through, and we're, we're going to have to intercept this because I don't want to damage this army here. But then this will be another small Polish army destroyed, and then we can go on the offensive a bit and try and figure out where they're at. The Polish army that's gone west is mostly provincial cavalry, so form our line, set up our artillery, deploy into square, let them exhaust their cavalry, come out of square, then destroy their remaining infantry. But not in this case, in this case it's just... In this case we've just got a... simple case of enemy infantry to deal with. So just set up. Set my cavalry up. Put artillery. Stay out of it for now. Howitzers. Fire quick climb. Infantry. Well, if I looked at the terrain, actually, I'd be able to see we could deploy our guns here. We've got a three-pounder horse artillery unit. And to be honest, my howitzers can probably just unlimber and open fire as they please. My cavalry alone could potentially win that fight, win the battle. When the skirmisher warband gets sufficiently far away from the rest of its army, I'm going to deploy a cavalry in it to kill them. One guardsman being like, wait for me! So, with your quick climb, go after the regiment of horse. So that's the unit we would most like to kill if you can fire before the other gunners get past. And they're coming. Excellent shot, sir. Redirect our fire onto the general's bodyguard. Oh, that immediately makes them stop. I don't want them to stop, though. I want to destroy that cavalry unit so when we decide to pursue their army. We've got that huge cavalry overmatch. So all of you men, fire it will off. Let them get closer, then fire it will on. Because you can see, yeah, it's a lot of fire coming in. Ride now! Ride for ruin! And the world's envy! Ending! The world's envy. Sars. Go for the warband. Bar dragoons, go for the guns. New men, go for the mercenaries. Ooh. Cease fire, my howitzers. Excellent. Let's kill individual units, please. Probably not going to try and kill the regiment of horse. We just accept that they are going to escape. You kill the last of your gunners, please. You may go for the warband for now, but you will change. These guys are going to go for the general.
you men charge on. These Hohenzollern go for the 8th Regiment. Excellent to make sure everyone's fire at will off. There goes enemy general. Damn right I'm going to continue. You forced us to engage in this little interception. So in that case, you can join us in death. Keep on killing. That's another one. Lights the dust. Come on, he's right there. There you go, good. He stopped to fight us. Excellent. Good. Yeah, you, do, you got to sometimes pick and choose when you auto resolve. If I autoed, it would have damaged my reinforcing army a lot more than it did. Back you, devils. Seems like they're really quite cagey to push, though. That's why I'm quite happy to continue my wrapping around strategy, wrapping around the north to see if I can get them to spread out. If I can't get them to spread out, then we get a overwhelming cataclysmic battle to fight at the end, which would be pretty sweet. But of course it isn't the end. We've still got the Americas to conquer. Ah, St. Petersburg needs to be ready to defend itself. Yes, it does. That's three armies. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to. Re I'm probably going to recruit another army in Stockholm. I can't get them to crack open their front line. I can't get them to expose it. So you've got some men heading your way. Okay, from military comes barracks. No point going for forts. Keep recruiting line infantry because they're the most useful unit at the minute. There we go. Uh, yes, we have our army that's still here. Excellent. So this light galley is going to pick up Josef Edinburg. Probably. Is Riga fortified? It isn't. So we can swarm in. Oh, I want to... Oh, I should have done that. You should have gone to there and then ran around. Oh, well. In which case, then? Mr. Tower. You men can man the fort. You men are one unit short of something. So we've got this fella here, Sigmund Meyer. He will be enough to intercept this fella here. But I want to attack him first so that when he retreats, these units can follow up. Whereas if I move them out now, if I hit them, they may go south towards Sophia. Which I do not want. Keep hammering home economy upgrades and happiness upgrades, especially in the areas that I know they don't like me. So, you. Okay, that's what you're waiting for. One more unit of heavy artillery. So, maybe even a... Yeah, Warsaw would actually do quite a good army. Although, to be... Ah, that's why. You, this That army supporting Warsaw gets quite a good amount of reach down to here. 
Uh, let's take the Jaeger commander, Georg Meyer. You sound very familiar. You two are going to build up a cavalry force. Well, an, an overall army. Doesn't necessarily have to be the biggest howitzers. We can do some little ones just to mix it up. Then get one unit of going to do guards. Ordnance board would be good. To be honest, just keep upgrading them up the front line. This is going to be where I may get the most use out of them. Get a couple of economy upgrades. Okay. It's in Stockholm. Let's recruit another army just using what you've got available. Christiana can contribute some units over a number of turns. Mountain troops. Oh, it's because you're. Okay, right, let's get two mountain troops. Good. Upgrade. Upgrade. Ultimately, I'm just trying to be a bit defensive at the moment. Now you add some extra significant amount of punch for garrison duty you might actually cover Cairo and then you can push up and you Balthazar Faber recruit some extra troops to garrison You men can go take Baghdad. It does put, give us a border with Persia, which could call, will cause problems and doubt of their own down the line. And what I also want is this chap, Friedrich Faber, is going to reinforce, replenish rather, and then go for Venice to knock them out. Other than that, yeah, you're doing you're doing garrison duties. You're waiting for one troop. So Sigmund Meyer, you have no money to replenish from, but that's okay. You're going to hit this Polish force here. Drive them east. Then they will replenish next turn. And then we'll see what happens. Because we've got a lot of... We've got some attacking options. We do need to maintain some pressure. We can't just let them build up where they like. That's partially why I want... Why well, actually, if we build an army in Istanbul and ship it across the Black Sea and land it in, in the Don. Excellent. So. Deploy the guns in the line. Even though technically... Well, I suppose technically speaking I want my guns behind the line and then with my guns behind the line my infantry to advance somewhat down the hill I'm blunder by shotgunners now with my cavalry to advance down the hill so that we can engage over their heads. We don't need to attack. If I just get further down the hill, I buy some extra space. Excellent shot, sir. Freikorps cavalry become suddenly quite useful against a very cavalry heavy force. Lots of retreating. Three units of provincial cavalry gone. A lot of cavalry, a lot of horses lost there.
Here they come. The idea is, selectively, my men can deploy into squares. Curiously, I can charge down the hill towards the provincial cavalry. Get my cavalry, get my artillery to engage their infantry. Hornzollen, Curiciere. Storm down towards those irregulars. There's enemy troops nearby, but soon this cavalry unit will be free to support. Smash into the infantry instead, because they're running in, in our way. And my Grenadier Lieb Regiment out into line. Interesting. Engage the enemy. Advance towards them. Cavalry. Cape Quick Lime's just about not doing fratricide. Let's switch to round shot. Yeah, this fight's going to be a bit more even. Because they, they've at least got... Actually, they're provincial cavalry. They should still die pretty hard. Against everything else, I back my infantry 100%. They're engaging the 17th. Show my guns all engage the general's bodyguard to the rear. Every, all my artillery focus on the general's bodyguard. bringing skirmishers to bear but I'm afraid skirmishers are exactly what I like to see as a cavalry commander we love them blunderbuss shotgunners aren't going to get a look in really ah more The core of the Polish line has just collapsed. Charge! Those irregulars are running, but they won't be able to run fast enough, not from the heavy cavalry. Yeah, there we go. Artillery ceasefire. Hussars. By the look sounds like we've got a hidden unit somewhere. Oh no, sorry, that Pandar unit hasn't routed yet. Make sure your fire it will off. Actually, go go around them. The infantry will air them open. Carbine's loaded. You're loading. Don't use them. Oh, there's another. There's, oh, the general's bodyguard's alive as well. So you men go after them. You guys all go after the general's bodyguard. So where's my other? Okay, yeah, you're still chasing around the irregulars. Charge! 
kill the general's bodyguard. He's in here somewhere. Guard him. And we are going to continue. There we go. Let's speed up time. One unit can pursue that unit of mercenaries. You can pursue, pursue that unit of Eastern European mercenaries. You men keep after those fellas. And that looks like everybody is, well, everybody was committed. The only thing we're not supporting right now is our general. And it, it probably it's probably more efficient to split my cavalry up, support both of them, but eh, we've done we've done pretty well. Not everything has to be min-maxed. Especially when once the other cavalry gets on board, the general's pathfinding gets a lot better. Yeah, there we go. With that, you, if you have one infantry unit attacking, they'll kind of screw around and run around in the middle but if you if, even if you give other cavalry orders cavalry units the order the pathfinding improves dramatically push up to the gap replenish what you can you can recruit three more grenadiers for 12 for 12 gold apart from that no technology on the horizon Yeah, they've, they've pushed towards the center. Again, gonna have to fight this just because I don't want to hurt this army. Frustrating being drawn away on all these little bits and pieces armies, but that'll be it's preventing us from doing our actual work. Arg. So let's get cracking again it's in my head I was like do I just send my cavalry to wipe them out I'm like oh I could just send a bunch of infantry not necessarily all of them but just a bunch of them So all we're going to do is just dump my guys into square as soon as they can, as soon as they need it. Just dump them into square, repel them, chew up this garrison guard unit. Even if you get lured away to my other cavalry. I'm quite sure why you're running around, while you're pinwheeling. Yes, you garrison guards, you may be. But against so much cavalry, I would not expect you to stick around. Cease fire the artillery, because that, lucky they're all misfires. Keep killing that one unit of infantry. Don't let them get away. You guys fire it well off. If we can kill them before the cavalry routes, there we go. So the next time we just leave the battle. 
That's a lot of cavalrymen lost. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, lost 74 men, but that entire force is gone. The Ottomans have lots of forces to bear, but as you can see, they don't have the ability to use them. They will be a tough nut to crack. That will be a series of engagements to try and break them open. It may be worthwhile holding in the centre, pushing in the north, and then pushing in the south through Ottoman territory, and then up through the Caucasus and into Russia from the south. Can't seem to make up their mind what it is they desire to do. They have many troops. They can try and steal my tech if they like. It's not going to help them. Not one bit. I've got my economy geared up. We're ready to fight. Oh, they appear to not want to push. More fool them. So let's make sure you're still fully replenishing. We can get a couple of economy upgrades in Paris. Let's get a happiness upgrade. Because they already they're a bit gloomy. Um, but so yeah, you need reinforcements. You're not going to do. You're not going to do a lot on your own. But I, I would. My hope is I can try and lure some of these armies at us. But then again, they're all depleted, so we don't know if they've got a significant. Um, attrition problem. I should probably send one of my first rate ships to go to Sinop. Oh no. They, they know they can't do anything, not with ships like that. Human can back up the main fleet. I mean, we're doing pretty well. Yeah, potentially the game is, the goal is to recruit more troops to push through Ankara, take our Ankara, Yerevan, then from Tbilisi, Taki, Chakask, you know, push up from the south. Or land an army at Crimea. There's all sorts of good options, but there's only there's a limit to what I'm able to fund. Alexis Müller. I mean, I know I'm butchering the pronunciation of pretty much everything every time I say it, but got to give it a go. No, not Prussian horse. Not so much of a fan of the Lance Guard. Freikor are good fun. Let's get one heavy horse artillery, one heavy horse howitzer. It's going to take a long time to get here. Twenty-four pound howitzers is it's just going to take a while to get here because they're cool units. But Istanbul can get ahead of the game. Give me two marines, deep guard, and a line infantry guard. Soon starting to run out of these cool units. <laughs> Give me a regular old line infantry. Okay, so they've retreated up to the Transylvania block. At some point, we will have to break through it. Let's keep dropping some good economy upgrades. You're just going to demand the surrender of the city because there's no garrison. So now suddenly we've got a fortified territory behind their line. There's an army right here, but if they want to come at us, they can come at us. You're going to push towards your Garva to see if that can, can if that 
forces any of the enemy units to commit. Leopold. You pulled the Warsaw. Mr. Merck, you... Start raiding their ironworks. See if we can draw Poland to fight on that front. So now we know they can just run over these mountains, which I didn't know before. Otherwise I would have just pushed these two units up to Iassi. We can lure them in. If I build you into a church school, can I lure them in? If they try to break that building there. You ought to go here, really. It gives this unit a bit further to go to provide or to catch up. Okay, you might go over here. So I can recruit a smaller army to cover the bridge. Allow you to redeploy and push forward. You're waiting for the enemy attack. You are building another army. You're almost at your Gava. And you're still pushing it towards Baghdad. Yeah, I think we've got to take... It's going to take a bit of time. Hello. Trying to push through, are we? Be the wild card with the Ottomans is we don't know how much from sheer economic weakness how strong those armies are because they're all depleted but they could all be very weak they could all be quite low and it would it, even though it looks like three full stacks it may actually have the equivalent fighting power of one maybe not even that because the challenge is you know if you've got two half strength units yeah they they fight as do they fight as well as one unit well maybe but it's it's individually easier to break both of those armies both of those units rather than there's one full strength one in my opinion okay i think we just need to start squeezing You can build fortifications. Demand your Gava because they've <laughs> they have to surrender because there's no <laughs> they have no way of stopping us from taking the city. Let's get okay. That's oh, that's a garrison force right there. Done quite sure what it is you're after. I think it might be this unit of guns. Oh, rockets. Okay. Actually, we're at the point where we start, want to start building... Well, yeah, we need more, more armies and just, uh, just advance out. So you can go to the south of these woods. You can cover Warsaw. You can advance out east. You can help cover Königsberg. You need just a lot, a good amount of infantry. So get two, two Lieb regiments. Two grenadiers, two mercenaries, not colonial line. Let's get some colourful line. So we've got these two armies that have tried to push through the gap. 
Yeah, the aim, the aim is every time they sally and we kind of destroy or damage one of these armies, it pushes them back in a weakened state. Which is what I like. You're gonna, you might even take Baghdad without firing a shot, because there's no one there. Would have been better if I had upgraded the roads here. It would have sped things up somewhat. Okay, let's take... Yeah. Gonna have to be you. Push into the terrain right in front of them. How about the go on then? Bring in your reserves. See what good they do. Push them back towards that clump. I want to slowly start pushing out of the uh, the Warsaw Konigsberg fortified line. That's what you need to start doing. Gunners deploy up on this hill. Howitzers start opening up. So the one unit down but it's a unit of artillery so i'm not overly fussed you guys might even stay there to help protect the guns maybe depends where their reinforcements come in from directly ahead okay advance Is engage. Should have targeted my howitzers a bit more smartly. My infantry run into position. Skirmishers halt. Maybe even place. No, don't place stakes. You're not in a good spot to place stakes. Cavalry charges, ahoy! Oh, those dragoons have dismounted. How cute! It's not a bad strategy, really, to dismount your dragoons like that. But it's not really... It causes problems. I mean, it's it's interesting, you know, combined arms fighting, because what they're doing is they are using the cavalry to force us into squares, and then using their infantry to engage with musketry, which is which is quite good combined arms tactics. But, but that is also vulnerable when your cavalry breaks faster than you may like. So how it's engage the line. All my artillery is engaging the gunners, which I'm not that bothered about. Here comes some of their vaunted reinforcements. Weakened provincial cavalry. Curacier, get them. Let's get my cavalry sharpshooters out of the way. Heavy cavalry. Engage this unit of provincial cavalry. Charging up over the hill, which is a lovely map. All oh, my infantry is. Ooh. Artillery shots are landing. Cavalry is struggling to break through my line, and now they are pinned. They are pinned and my 
my own cavalry. I mean, those are marines. Marines in square. Grenadier guards in square. This is their jam. You may just lucky that I haven't got all my infantry just ready to fire. Like I can now. Those cavalry are going to run behind my lines, but I've also got these skirmishers here. Yeah, because they're shattered. Three generals bodyguard. Cressier, Rage Taxi, go for the howitzers. You don't even know who she is. It's just somewhere over there. Polish militia. I've run out my skirmishes. God, it could be beautiful quick climb. It's just delicious slaughter. So I want my sharpshooters facing off against the reinforcements because they're so depleted. They've not loaded. Reload. Go for that provincial cavalry unit. There we go. The enemy position, such as it is, is destroyed. Going after my cuirassier, which isn't a bad shout. Let's get my artillery to engage this warband here. Let's also switch my howitzers to round shot. Oh, how cute! Rich recovery, a really good early game, but a late game, not so much. They are cheap, that is their main advantage. With all of the benefits that provides. This infantry unit going to square, because they're coming for you. Broke through my square. But this cavalry up here is like John Wayne. They don't care where people are at. They're going to fight. Middle of the line? Don't care. Boy, the cuirassier. See if how this warband does against my elite Jaeger. Just about see their smoke puffs. Fourteenth have opened up first. Let's go for the general's bodyguard. Advance. Push up the hill towards the reinforcement point. There's another hidden unit of mercenaries here. Oh, those skirmishers have got a flip really good flanking position on the warband. Yeah, you did turn around, but they still got a successful charge, which is a bit iffy. Grenadiers, back them up. My what? light cavalry sharpshooters up. Enemy general has been killed. Load of fire. Come 
entirely sure it even did anything. There we go. There goes the Polish army since scattering on this lovely battlefield, actually. Let's just leave it there rather than carrying on. We've managed to do a good amount of damage to them. Oh, that's a lot. Just depleted unit sent scuttling Go back out. home. It will not be long until we crack them open for good. When everyone, when you're replenished, when these two units are replenished, I might go for it. Because only the Russians that will be here in strength. The Poles are just, they had bulk, but not necessarily, not necessarily places in, places where they need it. Um, okay, so your recruitment's going great. Stockholm. Keep on upgrading. Especially, wow, well, I, I, I've got like an irrational hatred of seeing these gold and hammers. Because every time I see those hammers, it's like opportunity. And every time I don't spend anything on them, I think ah, wasted opportunity. Time to make some money. Okay, so let's get you some two sharpshooters. Oh, I can only get one Freikor, can I? Yep, yeah, there's a limit on them. Uh, do, 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 do. Keep on recruiting. I don't care about that Russian fleet. It's raiding but it's not really okay i've got two church schools here let's see if i'm am i finally winning no we're just <laughs> not losing lots of good upgrades okay, you're waiting eventually they will push and attack us i'm not gonna upgrade anything yet if i push out now they'll scatter those directions which i really don't want You're going to recruit. You're pretty much recruiting stuff to hold St. Petersburg until the fortifications are done. But yeah, right now I want... I want to provoke them into doing things. Want to provoke them into attacking so I can do something decisive. Like, not like that. Like, ugh. Wird uns yeah, they're going north because they can raid our territories. And it's like, raids aren't a problem. Vilnius is looking potentially exposed. Another round of tech stealing. Good luck to him, that's what I say. It's just not worth trying to duel them, stop them, or assassinate them because you get too many negative public order penalties or diplomacy penalties. It's just not really worth it. See, I've left my city vulnerable, and they've immediately gone, ho oh, ho, we're going to have that. You want to go raid up to the north, which is frustrating, but okay. Maybe that, Swiss, Swed that Swedish army may go north around the peninsula to chase away those rebels. Well, not rebels, raiders. You're punished, you're punished. You're in good shape. Bereit machen und 
More troops for you. We gonna take Baghdad. We are. Keep everyone replenished. Get rid of the university. Is there another one? Sometimes there's two. Just Mosul. Great they have to a church school. There we go. And the interesting thing is I've now got a port in the Indian Ocean. Well, that has access to the Indian Ocean, which is pretty awesome. But we're going to want to... I mean, getting rid of the school will just help us immediately. But I'm going to want to build an army up here just to garrison Baghdad and hold it from Persia. Because right now, it's... right Fundamentally, I just need more armies to do what I want to do. And the more armies means more money. Oh, wow. Let's get make sure the infrastructure's good. If we're going to be running... I should have upgraded the one in Hungary a while ago, but then again, that was to stop enemy movement here. But what I can do... is bring you guys north. I want to try and hit all of. I want to hit all of these guys at once, and I don't know whether I can. Because if you go here, and you go here, and I push in. Yeah, there we go. So the idea is, I wanted to get my zones of control overlapped, so that when I move in, if they intercept me, this army comes in in reinforcement. So yes, we're going to finally have a good decisive battle against the Russians. And then we can keep driving east towards Vilnius. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of a serious number of Russian troops. See you next time, everyone.